Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to assign properties and specifications to nodes and members in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. In this particular video, we're going to be focusing on assigning a nodal relationship to all of the nodes at the upper floor level in this structure. Now everything in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler gets assigned through the Select and Apply method, meaning that we have to go ahead and make a selection first and then decide what we want to assign. Now to make our selection easier, we are going to go ahead and take a look at an elevation of the structure. So using the widget over at the bottom right hand corner of the view window, you can change the perspective. And I'm going to go ahead and switch to a front view. Then with my cursor, I'm going to unselect everything by clicking anywhere in the view window. And then I'm going to draw a fence around that upper floor level. Now what you're going to notice in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler is that whenever you make a selection, depending upon what you have selected, you will see some additional tools become available in the ribbon toolbar. Currently, I have both nodes and members selected, so I have tools available for those types of entities. Let's go ahead and select the node tab in the ribbon toolbar. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and assign a nodal relationship command, which is used to define a constant relationship between a control node and a subsequent dependent nodes. So in the ribbon toolbar, let's go ahead and click on the node relationships icon. Here we're going to go ahead and enter the control node on the model. Now we can either enter a node number or we can go ahead and just select it on our plan. I typically select a node somewhere towards the geographic center of my particular area. For this exercise, I'm going to go ahead and enter my control node as node number 50. Then what we're going to do is we're going to enter the relationship. Now this will be used to define which degrees of freedom will be linked between the control node and the dependent node. Now I'm using this command to go ahead and try to simulate a rigid floor diaphragm at this upper level. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and fix it in the horizontal plane. And for STAD Pro, that would be the ZX plane. You can see that when I select that option, the degrees of freedom were automatically selected. Now, if I would like some more information before I finish this command, I can go ahead and click on the preview option. And I can even change the orientation of my model while still within this dialog. Now, if you'd like any additional information on any of the dialogs that you see in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler, we do have the option to show the help directly within the dialog. This will give you all the information to make sure that you're entering all of your parameters correctly or as intended. Now, everything looks good here so far. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then that relationship was established. Now, again, if you didn't know what your node number was for your control node, you can go ahead and select it directly on screen using that command. Or you can go to the View tab in the ribbon toolbar and ask the program to show your node numbers. In addition to that, if you would like to see these changes reflected in the spreadsheet, you can go ahead and select the spreadsheet tab of the ribbon toolbar, go to the nodal relationship option, and we're going to go ahead and see that information has been reflected here. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.